Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Snowdrop Tundra at the 45% area bonus. This is day four, and I do have a nap time session coming up in this video. I'm still on the hunt for the Obama Snow. Haven't had too many encounters this far, but it's just to keep going, and then eventually we're going to come across one. The Raiko is doing just okay this week. I think overall, I think... A strategy where I just went on my week as normal would have been a better choice because the overstacking is not going too well with the level 2 Raikou, but it is what it is. One thing I wanted to point out though at the start of this video is just how many people are changing to shiny profile pictures. It is really funny to see how just varied all these shiny <laughs> profile pictures are. Typically you would have a lot of different Pokemon that were just seemingly strong and useful, but now it's just all kinds of profile pictures. So I like the variety. And so we're gonna jump into the first sleep session here. So this was the main session. I don't think there should be a premium biscuit because I, yeah, we had a nap session yesterday and this seems like a classic snoozing session. It is. Unfortunately, I'm not looking for any snoozing Pokemon here at the Snowdrop Tundra, so this session overall will be a bit of a lackluster session, and then hopefully in the slumbering nap session, there would be something for us to have a look at. So, got a Rattata, a top belly Slowpoke, got a female Wobbuffet, a Togetic. It's not often that I see Togetic. This is the three-star style even, so that's pretty good. Got a Slackoth over here, a Jigglypuff, and a Wobbuffet. You see what I mean? There's just not really anything interesting here, and this is at like 60, 70 million. So hopefully when the event is happening next week, I'll find something more interesting than all these not particularly interesting Pokemon like the double Wobbuffet and the Slowbro and... The Jigglypuff and the Togetic. The only Pokemon here that would be worthwhile is the Rattata, but I don't even know if I want to go for the Rattata here. Save my biscuits. Oh, the Slackoth, of course. <laughs> well, at the very least, I know that a lot of you guys are a fan of the Slackoth in the comments, so I'll feed it one biscuit. We have something to review. Seems like it's showed up hungry before, too. So, at the very least, I get the value out of the Poke Biscuits here, so that's good. And I'm not gonna get the Rattata. I'm hoping that I can save some Biscuits for the next week event time, and then, yeah, I'll just have to save up for the Entei or the Suicune, whichever comes first. So I think overall the better candy here for sure is the Jigglypuff. Potentially the Rattata is a good one, but for the most part, I do think that even with the Gardevoir introduction and Sylveon being slightly better than Wigglytuff, overall the Jigglypuff is what a lot of people are running just because that was the early hunt and I uh, think uh, people will be satisfied with those candies. So let's have a look here at the Slackoth. Bold Nature, I don't remember this one. Slackoth is interesting because it is a berry specialist. A Vigroth, more so a berry specialist than Slack King. Slacking is a bit of a dual specialist, having that high skill trigger rate. We can bring up the slacking here so that we can have it on the screen. Mixed ingredient list. And we got inventory, helping speed. Not too fan of the inventory on the slack off. And we got ingredient finding, definitely not good. Uh, it's a berry specialist with a very high ingredient rate, and so you will end up not getting a lot of berries at all. For the most part, what I would look for would be all the skill triggers and all the speed I could get, because one hour and three minutes, that is slow. The bold nature making it even slower. So that slack hoth is going straight in the bin. And so, we make it to the nap session, and then hopefully there should be some Snover action in this one. Found an Obama Snow yesterday. That was unfortunate because I'm not gonna hunt it. It is just gonna run into inventory issues very quickly. And so 
when you evolve it, you do get that added inventory, which is nice. And so, for the most part, I am looking for the Snover. Got the Slumbering type. That's how these nap sessions work. I think for the most part, the nap sessions on Cyan Beach is going to be more interesting. At some point, I'm going to go on some long hunts whenever Suicune is available. I'm super curious to just see if Cyan Beach is where Suicune will end up. That would make sense. And uh, yeah, the funny thing there is you can use a Suicune potentially if it has helper boost water to help you find better Suicune, which is interesting. So, Riolu, Cubone, Celio, another Sveal, and Geodude. So no... Snover. Snover seems to be a very rare Pokemon. I don't understand why it's not showing up here. But I guess I just have to be patient. This is week two though, going for the Snover. I haven't found many of them at all. And so... I guess we'll just have to see what happens in the event next week. Maybe the increased Drowsy can help me out somehow. You know what I'm thinking here? I have been trying quite a bit on the Cubone. I'm not particularly rushed on it. I don't want the Riolu. <laughs> Pauly D also commented on yesterday's video about the Geodude. The thing with Geodude is my Tyranitar is already getting so many beans that I don't really need a Golem. It's just if I come across a triple A functional Geodude, I'm gonna keep it because triple beans can be quite powerful, but it's just where my collection is at currently, uh, I'm not in need of it. So I think it's gonna be this feel here. And to have something to review, I'm gonna befriend it and we can see what we got. So overall, I do have a pretty good wall rain, but I do think it would be nice to acquire a speedy berry finding uh, sphere. So if I can find the adamant again with a berry finding, then either helping speed M or the helping speed S, helping bonus, just anything in terms of speed because Walrein is a little bit slow. It's not super slow, but it's not the fastest. The Berry Valley though is the strongest, um, second only to the Dragon Berry, if I'm not mistaken. And so, or maybe the Blue Berry is stronger. It's been a while since I checked up on the list. So I think it's gonna be the Celio here. And actually, the berry, or the candy rather, keep saying the wrong thing, is way stronger on our nap session than the main session, which is interesting. Just goes to show how poor the snoozing sessions are in Snowdrop Tundra. So the Brave Nature, I don't remember this one. I think it is helping speed up something down. Oh man, let's see it. So it's not berry finding at the very least, not in the first slot. It's helping bonus. Ingredient finding M is a big letdown. It is a berry specialist and I'm not looking to find any sausage. Helping speed S inventory, inventory. That's what it was, CXP gains down. So overall, not a bad feel. You got the speed of help up and you got the helping bonus, but overall the berry finding is so strong that it just doesn't compare. There was something that I forgot to go over in yesterday's video, so I'm gonna do that in this video. And also the Raikou and the Tyranitar has been stacking the experience this week with that 1.28% or well rather just 1.8 multiplier on the experience. So that's been pretty good. And yeah, sometime today I will make it into Masters, which is interesting on a full-on snacky team all week, having cooked a single dish. And uh, yeah, just doing the prep to the max for the flower festival, which I'm pretty excited about. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent event. We still are awaiting some details on the Comfe. And I'm super excited to put out a video on the Comfe once we have most of the details. The skill trigger rate and the ingredient rate will be somewhat inaccurate. Um, just close after release, but for a week or two, should be getting closer and closer to the real deal. So, got a Riolu yesterday. 
Didn't mean to hit the Toxic Croak here. Got the Riolu, and I just wanted to compare it overall to my Lucario because, in my opinion, my Lucario is pretty crazy. So, the Dream Shard bonus here, if this had somehow stacked with a main skill Dream Shard Magnet, that would be really, really interesting. Then this would potentially be one to keep around. So I don't suspect that being a change though, but just because there is that slight, slight, slight little chance for it, I'm gonna hold on to it. And so this is my Lu Lucario. So I got skill level up M. That is really strong on a low tier main skill Pokemon. And then it's got the Berry Finding, which is favorite berry at Lapis Lakeside. So during weeks when I'm not really aiming for the highest scores and I'm mostly just preparing for things. I could be running this one. It's got the skill level of S coming in at level 50 as well. And you can see overall it's not too far off. And then it's got helping bonus at level 75. And so I think overall just Lucario in general, not gonna be hunting it. But if it does show up hungry every now and then I may feed it some biscuits on the Riolu. Unfortunately it is speed of help down. That is a big letdown but Overall, I would say the EXP gains up on a fairly low tier Pokemon kind of helps it because the candies are going to be scarce and you also don't have to spend as many Dream Shards on it. So overall, I do think the EXP gains up on these Dream Shard Pokemon could be an interesting trade-off, but for the most part, not what you're looking for, but just because the slum and the sluss and the bfs and the helping bonus and the dream shard bonus it was just it just came together for this lucario so that's my collection on that end and then there was another pokemon i wanted to cover let's have a look here it's gonna scroll all the way to the top here No, I think that was it actually. So the slack off, that's going straight in the bin as we went over. Inventory, not interesting. Helping speed is great, but it's got the speed of help down nature. So that really hurts it quite a bit. And then, yeah, I also saw on Twitter that the developers have caught on to the shiny bug. So I suspect that will be cleared up in a future update. So we'll just have to stay tuned on that. And then I'll see you around tomorrow in another video. Hopefully we'll find some more Snover for that egg specialist. Leave a like if you did. And thank you for watching.